The Home Office is to pay TikTok influencers to warn migrants not to cross the channel. Yes, this is a legit story. We're going to read into it from the Independence View. Let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. This is really going to link here. An article from The Independent with the headline that the Home Office is to pay TikTok influencers to warn migrants not to cross the channel. The government's plans could see taxpayers pay social media celebrities to warn people of deportation to Rwanda. So guys, while you're here, before I get my initial thoughts, you can hit the like button and share it across social media so others are notified of this video. So... <laughs> Now, where on earth do I start with this ridiculous? So there's been a lot of crazy stories in the world when it comes to inside politics. Obviously, if you've not been aware, there's been a lot of stuff around Taylor Swift, apparently. Uh, I don't know, going woke or something against Trump or whatever, even though she actually hasn't done anything, um, apparently, over there in America, which has been, you know, she's becoming a, a topic of debate over there, even though she hasn't essentially done anything. Um, there's, there's a lot of... Uh, celebrities can that can have quite a sway within poli politics these days, and unfortunately, is that because of the way sometimes uh, the world is going, uh, they are seeing more and more looking at ways to influence people. And uh, before I, I start jokingly about this, <clears throat> TikTokers really do have an influence on um, on the on on the younger audiences. Um, there's a lot of TikTokers out there. Um, you know, that app, whatever you might think of that app, <coughs> does have a sway on younger audiences these days. I have a TikTok account, which is roughly about, I'm just roughly around about 150 followers. And I definitely have a lot more younger audience watching uh, watching my videos there than I do on here on YouTube. And that in itself, like, even though it, I'm just a small, very very small number in comparison to, obviously, those who have millions and millions of, of followers... Uh, who watch their videos every day? That that person endorsing or promoting something uh, can seriously influence uh, can influence others, um, whether for the right or the wrong reasons. So it's very you know. So we all uh, have some somebody somewhere has a celebrity or an influencer that they, they, that they look up to, and they, and they, they <clears throat> I wouldn't say I don't know if inspire is probably the right word, but this here. Um, I'm struggling to think of like really, really high-end potential popular celebrities, particularly ones in, who have a real amount of influence in the UK, uh, to appeal to younger audiences to to to, to or or younger young uh, to appeal to this. Um, it's just plain bloody stupid, um, especially and one of the especially when the fact. That's what's even more infuriating is that we have a government that said that can't afford that claims like they can't afford to give pay rises to like doctors and nurses, um, but they can afford to um, build aircraft carriers and you know increase weapon supplies and that. We have a government that uh, can't do anything about the uh, increase you know the lack of homes, uh, build enough homes apparently they just can't seem to do that, um, but yet they seem to there seems to uh, there seems to keep things nice and cosy with landlords, might be because some of the Conservative MPs are landlords themselves. We have a cons we have a government as well that obviously doesn't have money to give pay rises to like doctors and nurses and barristers. Um, a lot of people in the state are working it for the state who are not getting pittons. Um, but apparently we have money to pay ex uh, TikTok influencers out of you. Yes, you. Your taxpayer money is going towards this, by the way. This ain't coming out of the Conservative coffers. This ain't coming anywhere else. It's coming out of us. Yeah, they they say it's government. Uh, govern they, they, in, in the article in the Times, and if I get the uh, link, I'll put it in the link description, but it is a paid, um, you have to pay, obviously, to, to see the article. But that's why I've got it here from the Independent. But the very fact but they tried to play it as if taxpayers are not paying for it taxpayers are blatantly going to be paying for this you're going to be paying your taxpayer money that is supposed to go back into the system for a better society and whatnot that money is going to be going towards tiktok influencers to tell migrants not to cross the channel 
even though they're still going to cross the channel because there is no legal route for them to come to the UK. Whether it is from Ukraine or Hong, unless you're from Ukraine or Hong Kong, there's no legal route for them to come. There are some exemptions in Afghanistan that are still being processed, but <clears throat> unless you're from those two countries, or actually, if you're from Rwanda, actually, you can claim asylum as well. Apparently, you know the same, the, the same Rwandan, uh, the same Rwandan scheme where we're trying to deport migrants to Rwanda. We're actually taking in Rwandan refugees as well. Thought, thought I might highlight that as well. Yeah, we're paying. We're going to be paying TikTok influencers to warn them. Yeah. So this is this is an alternative for me. This is this is seen to me as an alternative as to. So the the Rwanda policy is not going to work. Ah, let's pay TikTok stars to tell them not to cross the channel. Wow, ah, listen to them. Don't think that's going to work um, for starters. So, so A, you're wasting taxpayer money, and B, it's like you're paying them for, it's, it's, it's like paying them for a cameo, you know, you're paying them for a cameo to say a specific message, um, and C, it's, it's, they're not going to listen to it, some of them don't even have access to the internet because they've got absolutely nothing, so they're not even going to know about it, some of these migrants. It ever occurred to you that some of these people who are trying to cross don't have any internet access at all and they're just trying to get to the UK? Like they've come from whether it's from war, from climate, from famine, from fear, persecution, all sorts of reasons. Could it ever cross your mind that maybe, just maybe, they might not actually see these clips? Yeah, just, just put that in your head. So... How many more reasons do you need to not vote conservative, guys? Really? Question. Do you think Richard Tice would pay TikTok influencers to warn migrants not to cross the channel? Hmm. Let me know if you think the Reform Party would pay for it in the comment section down below. So the Home Office is planning to pay influencers to post content on TikTok warning migrants not to travel to Britain in small boats. The government has been using taxpayer money for social media adverts aimed at deterring potential asylum seekers for the past three years in France, Belgium and Albania. But the Independent has previously reported how they instead target tourists and business travellers. It is now understood that, they're now that the Home Secretary James Cleverly has agreed to expand the campaign into new source countries, with conversations already underway with the governments of Vietnam, Iraq, Egypt about what forms it could could take. Under this expansion, the government is also, will also seek to pay influencers on sites such as TikTok to warn of the risk and repercussions of travelling to the UK by small boat. It has been drawing up lists of social media celebrities who could be suitable. By the way, the celebrities they'll be looking at are those they will be looking, they, they will not be, they will be very careful and very selective on people that they will pay to do this as well. <coughs> Excuse me. It will be very selective. According to a draft plan seen by the Times, these include rappers, chameleons and TV personnel who could, who could be paid for up to £5,000 to be warned the would-be migrants of removal to Rwanda, with a total budget of £30,000. The Home Office told the Independent the document was outdated and it did not recognise the figures. Yeah, well they're not going to tell you how much are they. You're probably going to, you know, if this actually does happen, you're probably going to find out they end up paying more than, than needed. The previous success of such campaigns was unclear. Research shared with the Independent showed the Home Office paid Meta at least £35,000 for hundreds of Facebook and Instagram adverts shown to people in northern France and Belgium between January 2021 and September 2022. Again, I just, I just pointed out, <coughs> this is not going to stop them doing it. And some of them who are trying to cross over don't even have access to the blimmin' internet. <laughs> You're wasting money here. It's so stupid. It is so, so stupid. At least £35,000. I know it's small pittance in comparison to some of the other money, like the £37 billion that was wasted by the government on a test and trace system that didn't work. But it is still taxpayer money nonetheless that's being wasted here. This is a waste of money. It's not going to stop people coming to the UK. It will not. 
Some reach fewer than a thousand people and others over a million. But the government has no way of telling who is reaching with its weird patchwork profiles of targeted language, home cities or interests. And was instead just throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks. The University of Edinburgh, Dr. Ben Collar. A prior investigation by The Independent in 2022 also found that the Home Office had paid £2.7 million to Hong Kong-based uh, firm CFIR since 2016, which conducts migration awareness raising and behavioural change campaign, including a controversial government website which saw ministers to seek to deter asylum seekers. So there's a picture here. CFA is behind website, which is now which is now the defunct on the move website, which was used in a Home Office campaign to deter channel channel crossings. <clears throat> More than a hundred thousand people have crossed the channel in small boats since 2018, when the treacherous and previous rare route into Britain's first has started to be attempted in large numbers. At least 64 people are thought to have drowned. Uh, 64 people lives have been lost. If we set up legal routes or set up a legal uh, legal asylum system set up something uh, a legal place for them to claim uh, to try and claim asylum in on Calais or something yeah just something to stop them dying but no apparently we don't want that <clears throat> we just want to keep the smuggling gangs in going while such arrivals fell by more than a third in 2023, nearly 30,000 people did enter Britain that way, making it the second highest year on record, despite the government criminalising such crossings and pre pressing on with its alienating plans to send asylum seekers to Rwanda as a determined. A Home Office spokesperson said people smugglers frequently use social media to peddle lies and promote their criminal activities, and it is vital that we utilise these platforms to inform migrants about their truth, about crossing the channel and coming to the UK illegally. But there's no legal route, so what are they supposed to do? This is the this is the argument that I have. Like, you, you don't give them a legal route to come to the UK. That's the problem. You're not going to give them a legal route to come to the UK. Then they're going to cross illegally. The relentless action which you have taken cross, uh, reduced channel crossing by 36% last year, which saw similar weather conditions to 2022. We make no apologies for using every means necessary to stop the boats and save lives. But it should not... <clears throat> yeah, but it should not come at the expense of taxpayer money. Um, I'm sorry, but you, you you might be somebody listening to this and might think that this is money worth well spending. No, I, I'd rather actually deal use that money towards, you know, you know, the cost of living crisis. I think that would be really helpful. You know, helping the fix the gap in our NHS. Yeah, you know, how long have you been, how long have you been waiting for a GP appointment? How about, yeah, actually reforming our police service that really has, you know, completely lost its way. How about that instead? How about doing something about our transport system where trains never come on time? How about something about that as well? You know, how about our education system? You know, how about our education system where we don't have enough teachers and the classrooms are getting bigger and that lack and kids these days are not getting that one to one that they used to do. How about some of the money towards some of these ideas, guys? You know, just just going to put that out there. You, you rather waste taxpayer money on trying to influence get celebrities to try and influence people to stop crossing the channel. You would rather waste taxpayer money on that rather than on issues that are taking place here, here in the UK. I think that's a very big point, isn't it? You know. So <clears throat> that's pretty much it. You know, if you're gonna if you, you know it's it's not worth the money. That's that's my point. It's just it's a waste of taxpayer money. You know, we can laugh and joke about the fact because it is a joke. It is it is a joke. But what's not funny is that our money's been wasted on it. Um, such as much, much more money has been wasted by the Conservative government. Yes. But to be, you know, to, tr to, to, to pay celebrities to basically say don't cross the channel when they're going to completely ignore it anyway. What's the point of throwing money at celebrities to do that, really? So what do you guys think? Do you actually think it's worth throwing taxpayer money towards this? Do you actually think it's worth paying TikTok influencers or celebrities for cameo appearances and that online to basically say, please don't cross the channel? Do you really think it's worth that money? Please let me know your thoughts and about this story in the comments section down below. If you like this video, please hit the like button and greatly appreciate it. Share it across social media so other people are aware of this video. And subscribe because it really does help support the channel. 
And if you want to financially support me in the work that I do here, you can do so by becoming a YouTube member for as little as 99p, or joining me on Patreon or Rumble for exclusive content there as well. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope to catch you all very, very soon.